Welcome back to the lab trainers to another episode of Sakurum Versus. My name is Professor Sakurum and today I have another GBA match for you. This time it's between me as the owner of the Indianapolis Keldeos and Jesus, the owner of the New York Snorlaxes. Now looking at the team preview again, we can see that I am rocking the Megalopony, the Keldeo, the Pikachu, the uh, Don Van Klefki, and Chansey. So there's these are very familiar faces on this team. I also on my back I have um, I have Caracosta. I believe I have a Wigglytuff. I have on Pheasant and. Flygon I also have and I can't remember what else at the moment, but I can always get back to that later at some other time uh, But Jesus is rocking the chestnut the Raticate, the Kingdra the Conkelder the Zapdos and the Latias all of which are terrifying um, So at this point I really wasn't sure what I kind of wanted to do with this team or at least against him and it's gonna backfire at me a lot. We're gonna see this happen a lot where I lead off with my Megalopony just because I figured that this would be my best bet in case he did decide to lead off with Latias. I could always go for an Ice Punch right away. But he, I do go for the Mega Evolution here as he does decide to lead with Chestnut, which is not the most convenient for me because I realized afterwards I have a lot of physical attackers or Pokemon that do a lot of physical damage and Chestnut is kinda gonna wall me even though I have a ton of Ice type moves. Yay! This is great! As uh, I go for the fake out first turn just to guarantee that my mega stats will get in. And I go for the ice punch and that chestnut is completely eating it up. That's like a four hit KO minus leftovers. I bumped my desk. I'm sorry. I have minus leech seed. So it's like, I don't know what I'm going to do against this thing right now. Is it just leech seeded me right here? And we're going to see this matchup actually quite a bit in this match. It's a 36 turn match and I don't do the best in it. As, uh, as we're probably going to be able to see late in a little bit. I do decide to withdraw right here because I don't want it to get any more Leech Seed health from my uh, Lopunny. So I do decide to switch into Keldeo as he does go for his first layer of Spikes. And I figured maybe an Icy Wind will do a lot of damage to it. And maybe he'll think that maybe a Seed Bomb will do well. And uh, here's, here's where things go a little sour. He just does decide to switch, so he's very smart, and he does decide to switch, uh, seeing that the Icy Wind was probably going to come, and I was like, you know what, even if the Zapdos is in, it's still going to be taking a ton of Icy Wind, but I miss with Icy Wind, and it's really sad, and then now I have to switch out because I don't want to take a Thunderbolt from uh, from the Zapdos, so I, so I do decide to switch into Pikachu, because in case it did use Thunderbolt, I would get a Lightning Rod boost, but he does actually go for Roar after getting up Spikes, and now it's just not going to be fun, because now I've got all this damage uh, just going to be racking up slowly, and I'm kind of forced to just go for a move here, and I go for the Hydro Pump as he goes for Roar, and I miss the Hydro Pump, which would have done a ton of damage actually to the Zapdos, so... Really unfortunate, Keldeo is just not landing his moves right now, his uh, Deezus' Pokemon are very well trained to just move. And um, I do just get Mega Lop Honey roared in, so now I'm here again. I can go for the Ice Punch kind of freely right now after I got some spikes damage. But I do go for the Fake Out just because if he did decide to Thunderbolt me or whatever, I could just get extra damage on that Zapdos and it would have been fine. So he does switch into Chestnut, which is not the greatest. So if I did go for Ice Punch, it would have been better for me uh, just personally. But I wasn't sure what was going to happen that turn. I always figure Fake Out's good in case he switches into something and I can break any potential Focus Ash. So I do decide to switch into Mascot here, and my Sturdy is now broken, and that Seed Bomb is going to be doing a lot. Um, my goal at this point was like, hey, let me get Stealth Rocks up. I can get Rocks up, so when he switches, it's going to pressure him a little bit more to switch. But at this point, I had no idea where I was going to be going with this match. I was completely confused and scared, and he goes for the Seed Bomb, and he does, again, a ton of damage to me just because I am a phys I'm just because I'm... I'm a ground type. I'm a ground type. It's a grass type. It's doing a lot of damage regardless of what uh, my stats are. Um, so I'm now down at 45 HP as I got my rocks up, which is important and what I needed. But I was going to see, because I couldn't remember, I thought I outsped him one turn. But I completely forgot that Chestnut's actually kind of fast. And he goes for the Seed Bomb again. And the turn, I'm trying to actually go for Rapid Spin so I can get rid of Spikes. Because that would be great for me. Because then it forces him to, not, to try and go for Spikes again so he has the hazards. And I can get some free damage off on him. But nothing is ever free. So we go into Klefki here. and Because now I can try and set up my own spikes. Which will pressure his switches a little more. And I go for my first layer of spikes right here. Just because that's the best possible play I can do at this moment in time. And he does go for the leech seed. And this is really annoying. Just because Chestnut, Chestnut is a great Pokemon. Don't get me wrong. 
But most Pokemon that run Leech Seed are basically these annoying things that you can't take out. And then you're forced to switch because either the po if you do manage to knock it out, the Pokemon that's coming in after is gonna, just going to be taking all your health. And you don't want that. So it's really scary. But I do decide to go for another layer of spikes right here, I believe, this turn. As he does pull a switch here. And now Zapdos is out on the field. And that's great and all for him because he can just potentially Heat Wave and knock me out. As, um... He's just getting leftovers recovery back, so he's got a lot of just HP draining stuff to go on. And I figured that's what he thought he would have to do for this match. Um, so he's playing very well to his tight matchup and to his matchups in general. And I, I just mispredicted all of the leads and everything. So I do decide to send in Pikachu again in case he did decide to Thunderbolt. Um, I do, am going to end up taking up some spikes damage. And he does go for the Discharge, which was nice. So now I'm getting a special attack boost. And I realized, I was like, wait, I should have brought my special Pikachu because this would have been much better. Because I would have had Lightning Rod on that. And then I would have been able to Hidden Power, potentially, the Chestnut and knock it out. And I could have Thunderbolted the Zapdos and knocked it out. But no, I'm going to go for Ice Skull Crash and it's going to be doing nothing to the Zapdos. As he does roar me out again, so now... My special attack is now down again, but it didn't really matter because I didn't have anything for it. And Nurse is in, so I'm like, great, I can just t sit here and take hits for days from the Zapdos and kind of just go for whatever I want at this point. Um, so I do go for the Toxic right here, which is good for me, bad for him, because now he's just going to be taking a lot more damage per turn. But he's not going to want to keep his Zapdos in, not at all. And he's not going to want, sorry, to let me keep my my, uh, my Nurse in. No, no, sir, that's not that's not allowed. So he, he switches out, uh, makes me switch out with Roar into my Megalopony, which the spikes damage is just racking up and up again on all of my Pokemon, and this is not good for me because I have no way now to get rid of these hazards. So he's free to basically go for Roar, go for Leech Seed, do whatever he pleases against me. I, he does send out the chest down again. I'm like, hey, I'm going to go for Fake Out in case he has some sort of flying type move. Maybe if he has like, uh, um, like, I don't know. If he has Air Slash, then he can knock me out and that would be bad. So I go for the Fake Out. And I just get a little more damage, which is actually going to do nothing. And I can go for Ice Punch here. As, uh, I actually, I do decide to switch. It's been a little bit since I actually saw this battle. It's been a couple days, and I kind of don't remember it off the top of my head. I'm thinking of plays I would have played now, but instead of what was going on, I do switch out, and he goes for the Leech Seed again. I figured he'd probably, I figure now that he'd probably go for Leech Seed, just because it's his better play, because he's just going to get more and more HP back. And I had to figure out a way to get rid of those leftovers, but I had no knockoff on my Pokemon anymore, and it's just sad for me. So, I'm getting my Clefkey's HP drained, so this is a little sad because now it's keys are just like jingling trying to intimidate and be fearful or be uh, full of, of scariness and not working as Latias does come in and I figure hey if I stay in and he predicts me to switch I, he goes for a Draco Meteor I'm immune to it I go for spikes right here on my first turn or uh, as he switches out and he gets leech seed damage back or he gets leech seed health back and gets damage off on me and now this Latias is at full again, and it's scary. He Mega Evolves, especially making it more scary than it was before. Um, even though Life Orb might be a little bit better, just because you're getting a little more damage off. But um, he is running the Mega Latias, because that is his, his his team draft. And he's going for Psy Shock right here, which is going to do a little bit of damage. I go for the Foul Play to try and get some damage off onto this thing. And I do about the same as I would from an Ice Punch with the... Uh, with the Mega opening onto the Chestnut, and that's not good enough for me. As Klefki does go down right here, which is really sad. <laughs> it's really sad. Second Mon down, I haven't actually done anything really to this man's team at all. And Lobbity comes back in, threatening it with the Ice Punch, because I can actually just go for that and be done. But I was actually scared, I think, that the Latias would live in Ice Punch, so I do go for the Fake Out, I believe, on this turn. If I do, if I am real right now, if I'm remembering myself to be real, I go straight for the Ice Punch. As he is hurt by spikes, I do go for the fake out, which is going to put him in range of at least a critted ice punch. If I crit an ice punch, he's knocked out. He's basically knocked out. But here's where things get a little bit interesting. I go for the ice punch because I remember there's a move that he makes, and it, it makes me sad. He goes for his seed bomb, and that's actually, I believe, going to knock me out right here. Nope, it leaves me living with 20 HP, and that is not fun. It's just really not fun. And uh, he's able to go for spiky shield right here freely, and I take damage. I end up knocking myself out, because I'm like, hey, return is going to do a lot. And I actually don't knock myself out. I leave myself with 3 HP. I leave myself with 3 HP with that. 
and he goes for spiky shield again misses it I go for the return thinking it would knock it out and it does so finally the chestnut is down you thought I said I was, it was gonna live I honestly thought it lived I, re I forgot this entire match to completely honest I was so kind I was a little salty after this match and I was like well he's got mock punch on this shofu that just came out of here so my lob bunny's basically down and I can't switch out again because uh, if I do I just end up going down to spikes when I switch in it into it again so at this point I'm kind of forced to go into Keldeo because Keldeo is the only thing that can really hit this thing for physical damage really well um, and so I go for my secret sword right here just because I know I'm gonna be able to outspeed it I know I'm gonna be doing a ton of power a ton of damage I ended up critting the uh, the Conkeldor and knocking it out so there was some good news for me I was like hey maybe things are gonna work out I, I don't know and uh, for some reason I don't know why I do decide actually no I do know why I do decide to switch because I'm not I don't want to stay locked into the Keldeo's uh, secret sword so I do go into nurse the Latias a uh, nurse the not Latias nurse the Chansey and I end up getting hit with a Psy Shock which is going to do a ton of damage to me as he does end up going for defog this turn but at this point I only had three Pokemon left and I was actually like well this is not helping me at all most of my Pokemon are really weak from these hazards anyway his Pokemon aren't so I can kind of just go for soft boiled and then there's that I get my HP back and I'm pretty much good I have a decent setup right now I can just go for toxic and maybe see if I can do some damage but then I was like I realized that this damage right here he would take me out a lot faster than I would be able to soft boiled again and again because he is faster than I am and that's not okay um, especially if he lands a crit. If he lands a crit, it's basically done and, ch and Nurse is now down. As he does go for Roost this turn, I do actually, I believe, go for the soft, soft boil too because I was like, hey, it's a stall match. I can do this. Chansey's the queen of stall matches. It can actually just take everything out in a stall match, basically. Um, because with that Roost, it would mean that he's going to be losing his Levitate ability, I believe, at that point. And so, make him sus susceptible to Earthquake, but it does doesn't really matter. He does decide to switch into Raticate right here. And I said, you know what, I really should have gone for Toxic at this point, but I did go for Seismic Toss just because I wanted to get some damage. And this is scary right here because his Raticate is now burned. And that means Guts is activated, and Facade is going to destroy... N nurse's life it brings it down to half HP so even if I did go for soft boiled it really wouldn't be doing too too much because eventually he would knock me out so that was probably actually my best play probably would have been to keep going for soft boiled if I'm now that I'm actually thinking about it just keep going for soft boiled instead of going for that but he does go for the hyper fang actually I think that was it or maybe he goes for facade again I wasn't paying attention really quick and he does end up going down to his own burn and now nurse is down the radicates down he got a double down right here and he does decide to send in Queendra and at this point I had no choice but to send in Keldeo as one of my main Pokemon to really attack anything. I do go for the secret sword because I saw that with calculations that this was going to be doing the most damage and if I crit it maybe I could have lived or maybe I could have knocked it out uh, but unfortunately so Keldeo is going to be going down this turn just because the oh not this turn my apologies I apologize again I go for the sacred so secret sword again because Draco Meteor is not going to be able to knock me out and if I crit the secret sword I actually would be able to uh, knock it out but I actually did not crit it I managed to get the high roll that time so I only low rolled the first time so getting that high roll really mattered and it was really helpful to me now the only thing I had left was Keldeo to take out everything else on his team because this 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 Zapdos is gonna ruin my life he does go for the heat wave right here and lands it and Pikachu is just not gonna take any sort of hit right now so I had to basically switch into that to try and go for fodder and Keldeo is the only thing I really had to do any damage to anything especially because my hazards are gone and I'm forced basically I believe here to go for icy wind and try and knock everything out and it was rather impossible because of the Pokemon he had left I do go for the hydro pump because actually that I realized I was going to be doing more to the Zapdos than anything else, and I miss it! So I miss Hydro Pump twice on a Zapdos. If I hit the first Hydro Pump before, I probably would have had that, and I landed the second one, that Zapdos would have been gone, I could have done a ton of damage to Latias, I probably still would have lost, but even so, I missed the Icy Wind the first time too, so Keldeo missing really counted a lot, and the crits in certain areas counted a lot, but... Hey, you know what? That's the game. We all love it. But thank you for the battle, Jesus. It was really good. Good game, my friend. And uh, congratulations on another win for the GBA. That is now two downs for the Indianapolis Keldeos, and I believe seven wins? Maybe eight wins? I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm, I've lost track. 
Um, but again, guys, I hope you enjoy. Actually, I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Sorry, I'm like screwing up all over the place today. I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so, because you already know that your support is fantastically and greatly appreciated. Because I just love you guys. You guys are awesome. You got the first the the uh, the battle with me and Chad Gita to like 200 views in like a day, and I was like, wait, how is that even possible? Um, we got five. Or we actually have six likes on the battle with. Uh, me and Noah, so if we could get 10 likes on this, that'd be really cool. I think you guys can do it. I think there's enough of you that we can actually make that happen. Um, <laughs> and it doesn't take much effort. Just click it, click the little button. You'll add it to a, like a little private playlist of yours, or you'll just have it as a public playlist. Put videos that you like, and then maybe, you know, people will see it, and then you'll, you'll, you'll have more people uh, over here, and then there'll be a lot more fun and community and people to talk to and trade to and all that stuff. But anyway, uh, also don't forget to check it out. The yeah. Don't forget to check out the description where I have uh, the links to my Twitch, my Twitter, my Facebook, and my Instagram. Uh, just because all those are really cool things to follow, you get to find out a little more about the channel. Again, I haven't really been doing the Facebook one as much, so uh, that might not be the greatest thing to find out news. But definitely my Twitter is great to find out news when I'm live streaming. I live stream every Thursday and Saturday. I'm rambling again, and I do uh, um, Wi-Fi battles with you guys, so be sure to check that out. Because it's always a fun time. But anyway, I'm going to get going. Because uh, I just have things I should probably do instead right now. Uh, or things I need to get done. Not instead. Things I do need to get do. Get, uh, I'm, all, I'm all over the place. Uh, I'll see you guys next time when you visit the lab. Bye! <laughs>